I just got back from dropping off Jojo at school and I have to prepare for another appointment. Guess what? I'm finally going to pick up my Dutch or Netherlands residence permits. It's been a few months in the making, so I'm going to take you up on the journey to going to pick it up as well as perhaps the months prior, the preparation towards that or the few months that we've been here or even backtrack a little bit more and tell you about what we've done or what we did while we're in Ghana even before coming over. But before that, I'm going to get breakfast. I need to eat, yeah. I need to eat something little and then I'll take you up on the journey. So let's do that. And so, uh, what we did, um, I think it started all the way from Ghana even. We started researching the best possible ways to move and or emigrate, if that's the word. And uh, we did a lot of research. So I think one of the things, so before I even go on, let me just say that whatever I'm talking about here is not because I'm not speaking as an expert on emigration. Hell no. I'm talking about my experience in the last few months in getting to Netherlands and getting my uh, residence permit. So I'm in no way saying that your situation and mine, or this is the way to go about anything, right? So we did a lot of research and came to the conclusion or two conclusions that, um, oh my God. Okay, there are two ways that we can um, come over. And one of them was to use or to, to do a family reunification, which um, essentially is um, having your partner invite you over to the Netherlands. And the second one is um, a not so popular one, but it's to go through, um, if you have like a partner and you have a child together, you, you are asking or you are asking to emigrate to be in the life of your son or to be part of the family. It's not the same as the family unification, strangely. So that's what we did, and we did a lot of research. But what we concluded on after these two things was that we asked around, and the best possible thing that we could have done was to actually get a lawyer involved. That is the best thing we did in getting this process to the point that it is now that today I'm going to pick up my uh, residence permit. So the lawyer advised us on a lot of things and told us the documents that he would need for uh, the process. Um, so whatever you decide, the lawyer will tell you what's best for your situation. And so after doing your research and seeing how best possible you can emigrate or come to the Netherlands, sit out with your partner or alone, Whatever the situation is will be different from mine, but if you can find help, is what I'm trying to say. Like the essential thing I'm saying is if you can find help, do get help. So when we arrived, or we actually got all the documents we needed to get because some of them involved um, official documents from the hospital that we had um, our antenatal before we gave birth to our son and other official things that we needed to get in Ghana. So it was good that the lawyer let us know in advance, which is something that, I mean, it's an investment because you're going to be paying for all these things, all the hours put into this. So he let you know what he needs from you and then you get all, the, all of those documents before you fly out. Um, another thing I should mention is that you are going to have to integrate essentially. So one of the key things that you should remember, unless your country is not part of those countries that should uh, write the exam, you would have to write an exam in Ghana before leaving. So you have to book an appointment with the Dutch embassy. But even prior to that, you have to find a Dutch uh, tutor or teaching organization, or even if you can do it yourself and learn because you'll be writing what they call the A1 exam, which is like your basic exam to enter the Netherlands, which is going to help you process that um, stay visa because the visa, which is called the MVV, is your stay visa, which you'll be able to stay beyond 90 days in the Netherlands. 
So that I think is a general thing I can say. It's not um, specific to my situation. Anybody who wants to come here either through school or whatever it is, you will need your MVV. If you're coming through school, I think the admission is different. The admission is different if you're coming through school, but if you're coming as a person to come and join your family member or something, then you would definitely need that MVV to enter the Netherlands. So I wrote that exam and waited for my results. Um, we had the advice from the lawyer um, to go with a hybrid style for applying for the residence, and that's what we did. And when we arrived in the Netherlands, uh, we went through the process. So I'm going to take you back to a few months um, when we got some feedback from the lawyer on the progress of the thing and some documents that we're still asking and the work that we did. It's interesting because I now I'm trying to capture all these documents and it's almost like we knew that we were a month ago, after submitting our application the month prior, we got a message from our lawyer saying that extra information was needed from the immigration office. Our initial plan was to apply for the residence permit through the legal guardian route with our son. However, we were advised that a simpler option would be the joining your partner under the family unification law after Elaine found a new job in the Netherlands soon after our arrival. And this is why I gave that caveat in the beginning that this is not a how-to video. Immigration isn't a one-size-fits-all because every situation can be different. And even after doing everything right, the prerogative is still with the END to grant it or not. The takeaway from this video would be to seek help or some counsel, deliver everything you are asked, and manage your expectation and sit tight. And the train comes in nine minutes. Almost there. I don't know if you see the sign there. That's where I'm supposed to pass. And the weather today has been <laughs> not very nice. It's quite moody, um, cloudy, or overcast is the word. And uh, yeah. Okay, so the weather got a little better, hence my sunglasses and um, the process took about 15 minutes in total including the waiting time so it was actually really really fast and i'm happy about that went pretty smoothly so yes i do have my residence permit now the next thing we have to do is uh get in my tax identification number which is called the bsn but yes card here and uh yeah we're gonna find our way to the station before the phone dies. Couldn't find a place to charge my phone in the meantime, so I had to be very frugal with my spending time on the phone. And uh, catch you on the flip side.